hello, and welcome to our Bible verse for the day. I'm glad to be here with you and to share again from God's Word. This week, Christians everywhere have been celebrating Holy Week and remembering the last week of Jesus' life on earth before He died to save us all. Have you ever stopped to think about all that transpired in that last week from Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem on what we call Palm Sunday until His miraculous resurrection the following week. He entered the city on a young donkey and was praised and glorified as the crowds shouted to Him and laid palm leaves on the ground so that He and His colt could pass over them. Then He continued His ministry to others and to His disciples and in the middle of that week, he was betrayed by one of his own disciples, Judas, who actually asked for money from the temple to reveal to them where they could find Jesus and arrest him privately. Judas later sat at the table with Jesus and his other 11 followers to eat their last meal together, have their feet washed by Jesus, and have their first communion service. What a sad night when Jesus prayed all alone and his disciples slept. Judas identified him with a kiss and he was arrested. His disciples fled and later Peter denied that he even knew him. So Jesus went through the most horrendous ending of his earthly life alone. I can't even imagine how that felt as he prayed to his father, if it is possible, please let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, he prayed, not my will, but thine be done. He was beaten and taken from one Roman ruler to another until finally he came before Pilate, who didn't really want to kill him and in fact offered a possible way out because he could pardon one prisoner, as was the Roman custom, on the feast day. But instead of asking for the release of Jesus, the crowds cried for Barabbas, a murderer, to be freed, and for Jesus to be crucified. So finally, this brings us to our verses for the day. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your minds. We're encouraged to look to Jesus for our faith and reminded that in all his great suffering, he did it with joy. In fact, it seems that it was no accident that Barabbas was chosen in Jesus' place to go free. Barabbas means son of the father. On that day, before Pontius Pilate, two men stood together, both sons of the father. However, one was guilty and one innocent. The innocent gave his life in place of the guilty. Barabbas symbolizes all of us that Jesus gave his life for. This was the greatest paradox of all time. They tried to deny Jesus his deity, his sonship, his priesthood, and scorned all he did to help mankind. He healed on the Sabbath, ran with publicans, prostitutes, and tax collectors, and in the end, he suffered at the hands of the Romans and the behest of the Jews. We're reminded that our sufferings are small compared, so we shouldn't be wearied and faint in our minds, especially when we can know for certain that Jesus did carry and is still carrying all our guilt, condemnation, and sins. I think these verses from Hebrews can help us remember the sacrifices that Jesus made and how he took all our sins upon himself. 
Again, our verses for today are Hebrews 12, 2 and 3. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be weary and faint in your minds. Please join us again tomorrow for another Bible verse for the day and have a wonderful Easter.